Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Now for our urinary medications, we have bethanicol, given for non-obstructive urinary retention, specifically for neurogenic bladder, where clients with neuro issues get loss of strength in their urinary muscles. So think bethanicol for bladder control. It helps to treat urinary retention. Now Kaplan mentioned bethanicol, is used to treat functional urine retention, known as neurogenic bladder. Now, the HESI says, Bethanicol is used for urinary atony, and TCAs plus Bethanicol are used to prevent bladder dysfunction. And the expected outcome is a non-distended bladder. Now, how it works. It works by stimulating cholinergic receptors. So think cholinergic, we get secretions. So our clients get wet and wild down there and all over the body. So the common side effect is lots of sweating, urinary urgency, and low heart rate and low blood pressure. Now a little NCLEX tip. Don't get caught up by the mode of action. Since most exit exams and question banks, they focus on the reasons why this drug is given and not for the common side effects. So again, think bethanicol is for bladder control. Now, our second drug in urinary is finasteride, given to shrink the prostate, typically given to clients who suffer from an enlarged prostate like BPH, that benign prostate hypertrophy. So the HESI says, what medication will shrink the prostate? And the answer was finasteride. So the memory trick is a little bit fun here. So think about a guy riding around on a horse with a swollen prostate. Very painful, right? So if you want a fun ride, then we give finasteride. Now, the third drug in urinary is terazosin and tamsluzosin, given to treat urinary retention in clients with enlarged prostates that hold back the urine. So BPH is benign prostate hypertrophy, which I call BPH, big prostate that holds back urine, making it difficult to pee. Now, it works by relaxing smooth muscle in the bladder, the prostate, and the periphery, which helps the body to release urine from the body to the potty. So the big memory trick here is teragosin helps the patient go pee. And teraslosin, we teach slow position changes for that orthostatic hypotension. Clients can get dizzy upon standing since the drug relaxes smooth muscles in the periphery. And lastly, Terra Low Sin, so we avoid low blood pressure drugs like sildenafil, aka Viagra, since both can dilate the blood vessels and lower the blood pressure together. Now, the big side effect to focus on is the orthostatic hypotension here, that low blood pressure. This is due to the relaxation of the smooth muscles. So, especially when the drug is started or when a dose is increased. So, Slow position changes for Terra slow sin. Now the HESI mentioned this as a common side effect for headache and orthostatic hypotension when it's concerned about safety. Now the key point is patient teaching is slow position changes and we avoid zidenafil, that erectile dysfunction med, aka Viagra. So again, think Terra low sin. We avoid blood pressure lowering drugs since both will lower the BP too much. And lastly, a big NCLEX tip here, don't get tricked. Grapefruit juice is actually okay with this drug. Probably one of the only medications on the NCLEX that's actually okay with grapefruit. So it's the most commonly chosen distractor. Typically 60% of students got this wrong on most quiz banks. Now it wraps it up for this segment. Don't forget to take your quiz and download the study guides. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. 
and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.